Hello viewers. Today's question is called Apples. It's a very profound name, I agree. I'm about to do this Apples question. This is the question. Mr. Corseed has a job. He purchases apples on behalf of the cafeteria of a school or on behalf instead of behalf depending where you live. The previous month he bought 21 pounds of apples. This month the price went up by 20 cents per pound and he needed to buy 25 pounds of apples. In total the school had to reimburse him $101.60 for the two months. What is the previous price and the new price of the apples? Okay, so we are given one month 21 pounds of apples, another month 25 pounds of apples. The price went up by uh, 20 cents per pound. How much did he spend over these two months? To begin with, I'm going to put a little variable for the old and new price. I'm going to say the old price is X and the new price is X plus 20. And of course, I can work in dollars or cents. I could say the price went up by 0.20 if I'm working dollars. I prefer to work in cents because there's less decimals to have to work with. There's more numbers. So what I'm going to do now is make a formula. Now, always the amount you spend of something is the price per unit times total. So if these pencils, I'm just making up a price, is 10 cents a pencil, and you buy seven of them, it would cost you seven times 10 cents. That first month, he, he bought 21 pounds of these apples, and the price he paid was X dollars per pound. So X dollars per pound times 21, he spent 21 times X dollars. The next month, he bought 25 pounds, and each pound was X plus 20. He spent X plus 20 times 25. So 21X plus 25 times X plus 20 gives me, this looks like a big number, but remember I'm working pennies, 10,160 cents. That's like saying $101.60. I multiplied by 100 to convert to cents. One thing with cents, you have bigger numbers, but with dollars, you have to work with decimals. So we, we could do this question either way. Now I'm going to simplify. I can rewrite that as just 21x. What I can do is, see this 25 times x plus 20? Think of it this way. If I had 3 plus 2 lots of pencils, it's like saying 3 pencils plus two lots of pencils. If I've got X plus 20 lots of this 25, it's like saying X lots of 25 and 20 lots of 25, which happens to be 500. 25 times 20 or 20 times 25 gives me 500. So this is my equation, 21X plus and I forgot to write the plus sign in, so I'm writing it in now. You see, this is why I like to do it ahead of time. My handwriting is not so good when I do it on camera. So 21x plus 25x plus 500 equals 10,160. And now what we're going to do is we're going to simplify. We've got 21x plus 25x. We just add it together. If I have... 21, uh, 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 just make 21 uh, uh, clocks, I add on 25 clocks, it would give me 46 clocks. It's true for any objects. I don't need to know what X is. That's the whole point with algebra. We use rules that are true for any number, even if I don't know what X is. 21 lots of X plus 25 lots of X, 21 plus 25 is 46, gives me 46 lots of x, that 500 is still there, equals 10160. Now, always say remember, an equation is like a balancing scale. If left and right balance, if I do the same thing to each side, it will still balance. If these sides balance and I remove exactly one gram from each side, it will still balance. 
Same thing, here's an equation. If that's equal, what I've just done is I'm reducing each side by 500. If I take this 500 away, I just make it 46x, the left side has gone down by 500, the right side must also go down by 500. That equal sign is still true. If left equals right, left minus 500 must equal right minus 500. That's logically correct. And I always say with math, not only must it be true, it must be helpful. Of course, I just explained that it's true because we reduce each side by the same. And it's helpful because it's helping to isolate that x. So 10160 minus 500. If we punch into a calculator, we get 9660. 46x equals 9660. And once again, that balancing scale, if left and right side are equal, I divide each side by the same amount, they will still be equal. So 46x divided by 46 gives me just x. I divide left by 46 to isolate that x. So I have to divide the right side by 46. See, both sides are 46 times smaller. This balancing scale still balances. If I punch in my calculator, 9,660 divided by 46, x equals 210. And remember at the start I said the old price is x, the new price is x plus 20. So if the old price is x, x is 210. The new price is x plus 20, that's 230. And I could have made that zero a bit clearer. They have made, that's better. And if, though they did not make any rules on how you have to answer it, they started off the question saying, uh, uh, per, they actually didn't specify dollars or cents. So I can leave that as cents. I have to write, if I am going to write the answer, I have to write that C in. Or if I convert it dollars, it's $2.10 and $2.30. So that's the answer to the question. The previous month, it was $2.10 per pound. And this month, it's $2.30 per pound. And I should have written that in so that it's much clearer. And thank you all for watching.